Hello, I'm Carl Stankowski, and I'm a chef whisperer. People say, oh, Carl, you're a, you're a chef whisperer? I, I've never heard of you. And I say, oh, good. Then that means I'm doing my job. I work silently behind the scenes. I'm like a toupee. I'm best when you don't notice me. You know, I was totally resigned to just be a burgers and fries kind of guy. Well, that was until Carl said to me, I see Mexican. He actually just had a little walk on his shirt, but the sentiment was there. And in addition to being a proud recipient of James Beard Awards, I'm also up for the Airport Award for fine dining between gates H2 and H19. You chilies to go. Carl's been with me since Spiaggia. Terzo Piano was his idea. Not so much the restaurant, but having the Art Institute build a whole modern wing to house it. When I first met Stephanie, there was a real fear there. I said, Steffi, Steph, you gotta use the whole pig, not just the pretty parts. Even the face? Especially the face. Chicagoans love seeing their food staring back at them. Which is weird as hell, but true. Believe it or not, Carl's actually the one that gave me the idea for next. There's so much pressure for a restaurant to succeed right away. If it's not going gangbusters, don't shut it down. Magically reopen it as something new every few months, as if you planned it all along. So before I met Carl, I was an adult woman selling Girl Scout cookies. And one day, lo and behold, I rang a doorbell and there was Carl. And I'll tell you something, if it weren't for him, I'd probably be dead. Discovering Takashi has been one of my proudest moments. Watching him rise through the ranks has been a true honor. Eh? Met Carl when I still live in Mexico. Yep, and I told him if he cooked Mexican food the way he did at home, he'd be a success in America. Wait a minute, you told me that I was gonna get a green card. Boo! <laughs> you know, we all said things. When I first met Art, he didn't really have much of a gimmick. I said, Art, you need a style and you need it now. So that's when we settled on upscale southern comfort food. Which was hard for me because, you know, I'm from New England and we all about chicken of the sea, but, you know, I had to go marry Jesus and fry up some chicken. So I actually met Carl uh, when I was five years old and he said to me, he's like, you know, you have a really gifted palate and you shouldn't waste it on juice boxes. And realized he was right. So I did become a master sommelier at the age of seven. I was very happy with just one restaurant. It was Carl that said, Richie, people's appetites need to be entertained. Let us entertain them. And now I have 1,486. Sorry, make that 1,487 restaurants. Who knew? I've recently started branching out beyond the culinary world. Not everyone has the foodie dream, but some dreams are just as important. Carl helped me when I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. I was actually a cook for a while, but I got tired of getting my hands dirty, so I went into politics. I found this next guy at an Arby's. <laughs> According to Carl, my talents are being wasted on the fast food industry. I'm known for colorful language. I should think bigger, dream bigger, go for bigger things. Thank you, Carl. Look where you are now. <laughs> All right, I made one mistake. I told Doug Sohn of Hot Dugs to close his doors. Doug Sohn, please come outside. I was wrong, you were right. Please reopen Hot Dugs. Doug, 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 Doug please. Doug, 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 Don't hate the player, hate the game. Carl, are you